with the government's advice to stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives. But we are hearing in the last few moments that the Prime Minister has been taken to hospital. Our political editor, Beth Rigby, uh, can join us now. Uh, Beth, we know that the Prime Minister was still suffering from a temperature. He certainly hasn't looked well, has he, when he's made uh, recent public appearances. Now we're being told he's going to hospital. Yes, that's right, Jonathan. This news literally has broken in the last couple of minutes. Uh, you've re read out the statement there. On the advice of the doctor, the Prime Minister has gone to hospital uh, for tests. Uh, we saw him, didn't we, in that video address last week. He didn't look that well, but he's been working. Uh, he's still carried on. Uh, but 10 days after he went into self-isolation uh, with coronavirus, he's still uh, obviously not getting better last week he still had a temperature after a week which was why he continued to self-isolate uh, as I understand it uh, he still has persistent symptoms he still has a high temperature uh, but these are pre purely precautionary reasons uh, that he's gone to hospital for tests uh, as I understand it this is not an emergency admission and the decision was taken on the advice of his doctor um, and he remains in charge of government and he's still in contact with ministerial colleagues and officials. So the Prime Minister has been admitted to hospital for tests. He still has a persistent temperature uh, 10 days after uh, being tested positive for coronavirus. Uh, but as I understand it, uh, this is not an emergency uh, admission. This is a precautionary admission on the advice for his doctor, from his doctor. But the news here is that Boris Johnson has had to go to hospital tonight because of that coronavirus uh, that he came down with 10 days ago.